it offers an alternative to the mall or to the cineplexes that have 15 movies to choose from. This is kind of a lost art. To me, these cheesy old films are basically art films. And then you might know the plot, you might know how, who's the heroine, who's going to win, who's going to lose. It's a really a good experience to just come out and, I mean, there's lots of people walking around here. You see people talking to people they never heard of before. Yes, it is cheesy. Certainly having Dr. Mangle's chasm of spasms with live brain surgery is very cheesy and lurid and garish. But you see, that's, a, that's all a part of, of what the drive-ins were during their heyday. We're showing older vintage films, the kind of movies that actually played at the drive-in. Uh, we want this to be the drive-in the way it was at the golden age of the drive-ins, when we had monsters roaming the audience in live spook shows. And this week, Dr. Mangle's Chasmospasms, which is actually a recreation of a classic spook show that used to travel the drive-in theaters uh, back in the 60s. And that's what we're doing. We're attempting to, to recreate uh, an all but forgotten era of popular cultural history. This is, there's a, nothing like this anywhere else. One of the things we've done is, is to put out pamphlets and flyers, uh, basically for people to, to learn about the history of the drive-in, this particular drive-in itself. If I could make my dream come true about the drive-in, it would be to return it to its original glory the neon on the back side of the screen, so when you rode down the road, you could see it from a distance. You can see the screen from a couple of miles away. The neon would light it up. Uh, the sign on the front, the marquee would be lit totally as it was when, when I was a teenager. Uh, you would be able to come into the drive-in and enjoy uh, your family, enjoy other people, and it's a great place to, to uh, meet other people. How I envision the drive-in adventure theater is a series of 20 automobiles dating from 46 to 66 with climatic controlled environment. In other words, we'll have air conditioners and heaters in them. They'll be con so that you come to the drive-in theater and you have the choice. You can sit in a vintage car of your era to watch a vintage movie of your choice. It is the 50th year of this, of this particular drive-in and that's what makes it unique. I mean, we have a piece of history here that's going to go to the wayside unless we do something and it will not be brought back. It's intermission time. The refreshment stand is open and ready to serve you. Enjoy the rest of the program with a delicious snack. What's on the menu? Popcorn, of course. Crispy, crunchy, hot, and tasty popcorn. It's just great plain and even better with butter. Flavorful cold drinks. Enjoy the scintillating sparkle of a frosty, refreshing, ice cold drink. An assortment of candy and other mouth-watering goodies like hot dogs. Done just right hot dogs. Don't forget hamburgers that will really wake up your taste buds. Golden French fries. They go with just about everything. You'll see there are other good things to eat, too. Look them over. Make your selection, then relax for the rest of the show. Now it's time for the snack bar, because it's intermission time. crowd overhead with David Crockett and uh, Thunder Road. <laughs> that was a good movie. I won a contest with that. I run a week free in the Crystal River. Got a car just like the one he drove in that movie and put it out front and uh, turned it over and, uh, and I won a, won a contest with it. We had big giveaways and we had a big pop uh, auction, you know, with money in the boxes. And then we had a bingo, but we, back then the law cut it. We couldn't have it, they cut it out. Had a bank night. You could be rich some night if you were the lucky one when you leave the drive-in. It got up as high as $400, pretty good. I hate to see it close. I really hate to see it close because I spent most of my life out in this drive-in. If this place eventually had to close, that would be, that'd be really heartbreaking. Uh, it was heartbreaking enough when I read about that they were not only closing this one, but Floyd was closing all the other theaters. 
I couldn't understand how they could do this because a lot of them were uh, still making money and it just didn't really make sense. This place has such uh, carry. The people here are so friendly. This is such a great little town. I can't, it would be very, very depressing. I would hate to see this place closed down. Uh, I'm not against new industry, but I think they could be better served somewhere else. I, I would like to see this place kept open. I would think this is a unique part of the American culture. It didn't start anywhere else. It started here and it spread to other places, but it's basically an Americana. Uh, it's unfortunately rapidly disappearing. The problems that we encounter when we're as we're trying to save the drive-in theater, we come up, the biggest problem is public apathy and people that say that the drive-in is dying for a reason and they're not willing to save it. While there are a lot of people who will, there are a lot of people who just don't care. I mean, out on the highway here, this is a busy road. Um, heavy traffic all hours of the night and day, uh, yet it's been tough to get people to come out here sometimes. Unlike the Field of Dreams, you know, if you build it, they will come. Well, it's here, but getting them to come, what is that, what is that going to take? It's rough sledding. <laughs> What's happen? It's one of those things we're barely scraping by at this moment. Um, we've got some really hard workers, but unfortunately, we don't have a lot of money. And that's what it's going to take, is the money to restore the place in the way that it should be and that will in turn attract the audiences to us. Storm tore it neon off in the front out there. It damaged it and never, never did put it back. Well, if you spent your whole life at something or other, and the only job I've ever had was in the theater, it kind of gets with you to come out and see it run down.